Now, if you find yourself in the market for a new car, you've likely heard about the terms service plans and maintenance plans. And in today's video, I'm going to unpack exactly what's the difference between a service plan and a maintenance plan so that you can go out there, buy your car and be educated, know what you're getting. So let's get right into it. My name is Kurt from Wheel Index, the place where South Africans go to do research when they're buying or selling a car. Let's jump into service plans. Service plans is really simple. It's quite descriptive. A service plan is a plan that's going to cover all the servicing needs of your car for a specified amount of time or a specified amount of mileage. Now, today when I'm talking about service plans and maintenance plans, I'm talking about the plans that come with new cars when you buy them. So when you buy a car from a dealership, that car will come with a service plan and that's the type of plans that we are talking about today. It will either be a service plan or maintenance plan and this video is not going into any detail about extended service plans or extended warranties and we actually have another video up on our channel talking about extended warranties and you can check that out. So let's get back to service plans. So when you buy a car, the car will normally come with a service plan or some cars might not come with a service plan. So you need to check that first. Don't assume that all new cars that you buy come with a service plan. As an example, Datsun in South Africa don't come with a service plan. You actually need to top up the purchase price and add a service plan to the car. But most manufacturers, they one that I know about, most of the others come with service plans. And it would either be, let's say a three year, 60,000 kilometer service plan. And that would basically just state that the dealership will service this car for three years or until it reaches 60,000 kilometers. And in between that period, whatever the basic servicing needs that the car requires, the dealership will do that for you free of charge. You won't have to pay for labor and you don't have to pay for parts. So let's say you buy a brand new car today and the car needs to go, needs to be serviced every 15,000 kilometers. When you take the car into the dealership, the dealership will pay for the service. So if it's a minor service, they'll pay for the oil, they'll pay for the labor. And uh, you as the owner of the car, you won't have to fork out any additional um, money to service the car. Now, that's the basics of what a service plan is. It will pay for all the servicing needs of the car. Now, what's the difference between a service plan and a maintenance plan? That's the big question we need to answer. And the difference is that maintenance components is part of a maintenance plan and a service plan only includes serviceable components. So what's a maintenance component? Anything that can wear. So your clutch can wear, the brakes on your car can wear, your car can run out of aircon gas. Those are all things that over time, they, they are serviceable parts that can be replaced, but they're not really servicing. It's not like changing the oil. You know, that's, that's where the big difference comes in is that a service plan is for serviceable parts like anything, oil, spark plugs, pollen filter, air filters. Those are basic servicing needs of your car. And a maintenance plan is all maintenance items on your car. So that would be your brakes, your clutch, and basically everything on the car that's not fuel and tires. That's what a maintenance plan will cover. Now, a maintenance plan is really beneficial if you want to have no expenses uh, with owning a car. And that's the nice thing about buying a more, buying into a more prestigious brand like let's say BMW, Audi. Those cars will all come with maintenance plans. And when that car goes in for its servicing, they will service the car. But if there's any maintenance component that's needed to be replaced on the car, the dealership will replace it free of charge. So let's say the car needs brake discs, the car needs brake pads, uh, the dealership will replace the pads and they will replace the discs and they'll also do the basic servicing as recommended and you will not have to pay for that with a maintenance plan. With a service plan, the service plan is only going to pay for the recommended servicing. So if you take your car in and the dealership states that at 20,000 kilometers your car needs a basic oil change, they are just going to pay for an oil change. So if your car needs brakes or wipers or a battery or anything else, a service plan will not pay for that. And it also won't fall under a warranty because a warranty, remember, just pays for items that, that's actually broken and defective. So let's say something is actually broken, the warranty will pay for it. But uh, maintenance parts will not be covered by, uh, by your service plan. And that's really the big difference that you need to know is that a service plan will just pay for serviceable items and a maintenance plan will pay for serviceable items, including wear and tear items like I just described, which will be wipers, brakes, and any form of maintenance components that could wear over time. Now, that's it. What's the cons and the pros of a service plan? 
Well, the biggest con of both is that you can only service your car at an approved OEM dealership. So if you own a Volkswagen car and uh, you find yourself out of your province and something is wrong on your car and there's not a Volkswagen close by, that there's an RMI workshop or another workshop that can service your car and fix your car, you can't actually take your car there because that can void your, void your service plan. So you need to be aware of that, that you're locked into servicing your car at brand dealerships. Now there are people that do oil changes at Volkswagen or whatever the brand dealership is and then uh, you know they will do the brake pads or any maintenance components uh, let's say at a place like super quick or you know what you have someplace like that that's okay you could probably get away with it but you need to tread carefully another con I quickly want to mention as well is that if you are in a car accident and you have a maintenance plan that you need to have your car repaired at an approved brand repairer so what does approved brand mean that means if you're driving a BMW you need to go to BMW approved panel shop if you're driving a Land Rover you need to go to a Land Rover approved panel shop to do the repairs on your car if you don't and the dealership you take your car in for the service at some point in the future and they find out that your car has been in an accident there's structural damage to the car and the car was not repaired by an approved uh, panel shop they can actually void your maintenance plan and you'll end up with no maintenance plan as well so that's just something to keep in mind then also if you are the type of person now that decide look I actually need a maintenance plan a service plan is not going to cut it you can also upgrade a service plan to a maintenance plan so just ask the dealership give me a quote what is it going to cost to upgrade this service plan to a maintenance plan and there will normally be various packages they might have a package uh, that's associated with high mileage with low mileage with time so just find out by them uh, what packages do they have available for you to upgrade your service plan to a maintenance plan and yeah that's it i hope you're educated i hope you have enough information now to make an informed decision and decide do you need a maintenance plan do you need a service plan or don't you need any of them i doubt you don't need any of them um it's quite beneficial to have a service plan or maintenance plan but yeah that's it that's uh, that's a wrap from me Kurt from willindex.co.za i'll catch you back next time and subscribe to our channel if you like this type of content cheers